What's going on guys, it's Adonis. I'm gonna be giving you my review of the fourth generation Apple TV. So I've had the Apple TV now for about a week and I really wanted to give you my experiences with it thus far. And is it a compelling upgrade from the previous generation? So without further ado, let's get into it. The fourth generation Apple TV is a welcomed upgrade from the three year old Apple TV 3. Now in this video, I will be going over the things that I really, really enjoy and some things that I feel that they can improve on. First is the interface, very fluid. I love the new design. Some things do carry over like being able to move your applications where you want them on your screen, but you do have some things that brought over from iOS like the multitasking window that you can close apps. Now, one of the big additions is the app store. And this is the main reason why there's actually stores now on the Apple TV. Now, I have to say some of the applications, even though they run really well, just seem like big iPhone applications, especially the games. Um, now, I cannot wait to see what developers come up with to make you know, TV specific games, but until then, this is a great start. Now, the new screensavers are beautiful and they're sharp, they're clean, the cinematography is great. I do wonder though, if they're actually shot higher than 1080p, they seem like 4K images downscaled, but let me know if you know anything of it. Now the Nimbus controller with the Apple TV works like a charm. I did not charge this controller one time since I've had it. There's zero lag between the controller and the Apple TV. The buttons feel nice and the controller is very comfortable. Now I have to be honest, I didn't know if I was gonna like the Siri remote for gaming. Um, and I actually think it's really good. It's not fantastic, it's not the best gaming controller out there, but for the one that comes in the box, it does a really, really good job. The buttons are nice, there's zero lag, and the motion sensing is actually really good. So very good job, Apple, especially for your first type of controller that you've ever done with motion sensing. Now, I didn't know if this SteelSeries Stratus XL was going to work with the Apple TV, and it does. And I like this controller a lot. It does have a little bit more weight than the Nimbus, so if you like a heavier controller, you may want to go with the Still Series Stratus XL. But keep in mind, it does not charge via lightning. It does take AA batteries, but it works well. So the AirPlay functionality is fantastic. I was actually using my Nimbus controller, Bluetooth controlling my phone while it was AirPlaying to the Apple TV, and I had zero lag. It was a fantastic gaming experience, especially for apps that have not been ported yet. Now, if you're anything like me, I lose my controllers all the time. So being able to program my TV remote to control the Apple TV is definitely a win. And I'm very excited about this. Now, there are some caveats. You cannot use Siri, obviously, with this remote and you cannot play games, but it is a great way just to have another remote control to control your Apple TV. I'm so happy that Siri is on the Apple TV. It just elevates the experience. Being able to search for you know, content by an actor and then narrowing it down saying, you know, show me only the good ones and it only gives you the top rated movies. Being able to search for TV shows and it searches Hulu, Netflix, HBO, Showtime, iTunes. Being able to narrow things down like, you know, show me top movies from the 90s. It just elevates the experience on the Apple TV. Now, some of the things at Siri are turnoffs as well. Let's start with the remote. So the remote is fantastic, beautiful glass and aluminum, but that glass is easily scratched. And if you saw some photos, can be cracked as well. Now, some of the things that I didn't really understand was Siri does not have the ability to do dictation. So you cannot search with your voice. You have to resort to pecking through a list of letters with the Apple Siri remote or your Bluetooth controller. Very annoying. Now, some of you may have used the remote app in the past, but you can no longer use that, at least at the time of filming this. It is not supporting the Apple TV yet, so you cannot use your on-screen keyboard to search. So Siri and the App Store are not friends whatsoever. I've done searches like show me new apps or show me new games or show me top games and nothing shows up at all. And when I thought that was bad, I found out that I couldn't use it for Apple Music or Beats One Radio or even starting a radio station at all, which is really weird because it works really well on the phone. So hopefully this is an update that Apple can send out soon. So my final thoughts on the Apple TV fourth generation is that it's a compelling upgrade um, over the previous generation. Um, big things, obviously, Siri with searching and the addition of the App Store definitely turned the set-top box into something more like a gaming console. Now, 
Keep in mind, this isn't you know on the level of console gaming. However, you can definitely see that there's a ton of potential with games on the Apple TV once they start making games specifically for the Apple TV. So I cannot wait for that. Now, the big question is the cost. So for 32 gigabyte, Apple is charging 149 and 64 gigabytes is 199. I opted for the 64 gigabyte, just keeping in mind of if the upgrade cycle is very similar to the one that's currently on, it's gonna be about three years before the next generation comes out if that refresh cycle stays the same. So that's gonna give me plenty of storage for games and apps as they get larger and better for the Apple TV. But what do you guys think? And let me know if you guys have one. What are your thoughts on it so far? And let me know down below if you guys have any other questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more content, go ahead and hit that like button for me and show me some love. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you're gonna to wanna to do that. You can hit that little APP logo in the corner or if you're on mobile, hit that subscribe button. All right guys, till next time, see you later. Thanks again for watching guys. If you guys like this video and wanna see more content like this, go ahead and click that APP logo in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you guys wanna chat with me on social media, go ahead and like my Facebook page, Absolutely Tech, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Adonis underscore ATMLV. All right guys, till next time, see you later.